anyone else. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Unfortunately, after being out magicked by a Thalmor, and a Thalmor that happens to be the arch nemesis of Val, I'm back here in Helgen to report in, and the news I have is grave. Let me just put up the pull up the notes that I had scribbled down. I was ambushed by Arendelle and taken to his private ship. He told me he knew everything about what we've been doing. He also said that he was holding Marcus prisoner and that I must bring Valerius, that's Val, to the prison south of Helgen or he would kill Marcus. All right. What? What's this? Another prisoner? Val, what's going on here? Marcus has been captured by Arendil's men. He's at the prison. How do you know this? Well, unfortunately, I was put under a spell and taken to Arendil by his men. Arendil told me himself. God damn it, this is what I was afraid of. Wait right there. Falco, do you have anything you want to say about this? Valerius, I... I don't know anything about any of this. I swear to the gods. You and I are the only ones who knew Marcus was going to Riverwood. I made sure of that. You are a traitor and a liar. If you didn't have anything to do with this, then how was Marcus captured? How did they know what my friend here was up to? How did they know where Korst was hiding before? It's all very convenient, is it not? I... I don't know, Valerius. I... I swear I don't know anything you're talking about. Liar! Except for rescuing Korst, Arendil has known what we were doing at every turn. You didn't have time to warn anyone about that, now did you? I saw you, Falco, two nights ago when you thought I was asleep. I followed you and saw the messenger you met with. I shall kill you right now. How could you betray me like this? How could you betray Marcus and all your brothers? Valerius, I'm sorry. They... They said they have my sister and her children. What? They're so young. They're all I have left. They said they would kill them if I didn't tell them what they wanted to know. I didn't want to, but I had no choice. Falco, you're a fool. Your sister and her children are already dead, or slaves by now. We'll never see them again. That much is certain. We don't have time for this. Korst, lock him in a cell downstairs. I'll deal with him later. Yes, sir. Fill me in on what you know. So, but, but wait, Falco, I mean, he's one of the first people I met when I came here. He was a spy? All right, anyhow, I, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to process all of this. So, according to Arendil, you and I must go to the prison if Marcus is to live. Then it has come to this at last. Perhaps today is a good day to die. I'm ready to go when you are. Well, all right. Let's go. I think I'm going to put on my mage hood. There. I guess there's really no need for a mask at this point. All right, let's go. We're here at the Thalmor prison. I hope you're ready. Let me see what spells I have prepared. Okay, let's go. Arendil! 
I came as you wished. Now let Marcus go. Now! Valerius, what do you think you're doing? You can't! It's the only way, Marcus. You must know that by now. It has to end here and now. So, we finally meet at last after all these years. Unfortunately, I'm sorry to say you fall well short of the legends that precede you. <laughs> Keepers of Hartu, indeed. I said, let Marcus go! All in due time, Imperial. You know, I still remember the look on your son's face from all those years ago. It is the look of fear and death, and it's the same look on your face right now. I remember my men saying he squealed like a little girl what? when they beat him. How dare your you? Wife and young daughter both moaned like whores as my men no. beat him again and again and again. I'll kill you! Valerius, no! Oh! Valerius! Oh! Responding to my healing spell. All right, I think I've got to go ahead and deal with these other people out here. Can I get, can I let you out? No, I can't. All right. There. I'll be back. Yes, someone is here. That was it? Oh, Val, you're up. Get you out of here? It requires a key. Where was that leader? Maybe I turned him into dust. Yes, here. What has Aaron Dill done to him? It's some sort of paralysis spell. This is far, far worse than any paralysis spell I've ever seen. I... I think it's draining the life out of him. He used one on me, but you're right. This is much more powerful. We have to see if we can help him. Val, can you hear me? Yes, old friend. I've tried! Really? Oh, good to be with you, old friend. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> We're going to find a way to get you out of here. Hang on, Valerius. No, old friend. My journey has come to an end. <coughs> Let me go, Marcus. Val, I... Sabrina. No. 
Oh, it's too late. I see my wife and my children. Yes, old friend. Go to them. Go be with your family. Oh, oh my. <gasps> Valerius, he's gone. No. Oh, Dallas, no. I did yes, everything I could. It's finished. But what are you doing here? I'm sorry, Marcus. We just couldn't let him come here to die like this. But it appears we are too late. Yes, Corst, I understand. You men, stand at ease for a moment. I'm sorry, but these men and I would like some time alone, if you don't mind. We'll bring his body back to Helgen and prepare for a service tomorrow. Please join us in honoring our friend. Yes, of course, I understand. I'm so sorry. I, I tried everything I could. I I'll see you tomorrow. We will wait to begin the service until you arrive. Go easy, my friend. So this is how it ends. I'm sorry. Sorry, Korst. All right, let me get back to Helgen. It's about 7.30. they finished made any progress on this tavern I could use a drink right now hmm, I guess not or maybe this isn't the tavern I don't know I'm so busy on adventuring and trying to protect this place all right I think I'm just gonna go and rest until tomorrow Alright, it's time for the service. Here for the service as you requested. Yes, thank you for coming. Please join the others. I'd like to say a few words. I know this must be as difficult for each of you as it is for me. More so. You were his trusted friends, his inner circle. Of our friend, I can assure each of you this. He told me that he was truly happy again for the first time in many, many years. I don't presume to have words that might assuage the grief that you must feel. You will each have to find your own solace in whatever manner suits each of you best. But if this were a proper military funeral, we would most likely have a musician playing a funeral song. Many of these old songs came from ancient battlefields played at the end of a long day of fighting. They were lullabies, 
meant to signify that all was well. That it was peaceful and safe the rest of the night. Well, Valerius, old friend, you will not soon be forgotten. You are safe now. You may finally be at peace. For our friend, we, we grieve. For his memory, we rejoice. rejoice. For this war, we, we salute. salute. For ourselves, we, we say, say goodbye. Say goodbye. goodbye. Oh, this is just so sad. I'm so sorry. I wish there was more I could do. Defeated Alduin and saved Skyrim. We will be written about many errors to come. Have you been filled in on Falco? Yes, yes, I have. Please come with me. Korst is meeting us downstairs. Let's get this over with as quickly as we can. Okay. Falco, you succeeded in getting Valerius killed. I hope you're happy. Marcus, I'm so sorry. They had my sister and told me they would kill her and her children. They're all the family I have left. Please, Marcus. Falco, did you really think you could negotiate with those maggots? Did you really think you could trust them? You are a fool. But gods, what am I going to do? He is a traitor, and should die a traitor's death. You're probably right, Korst. I... I don't know. What do you think about all this? I'm concerned that Valerius' death may cloud my judgment. I don't want to make the wrong decision. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You know, I've often thought of myself as a, a peaceful person, and non-violent but I've killed so many people I come to that realization that I am a killer even though I might be mild-mannered and timid I still kill people and Korst is right he is a traitor let Korst kill him yes perhaps you're right very well I take no pleasure in this but Korst will do what he must do. And may the gods have mercy on this pitiful excuse for a soul. Marcus, I beg of you, please. Shut up, worm. At least try to die like a man. Now, get up! This is for Valerius. Oh! It is finished. He did what had to be done, Corsa. Oh my goodness, that man just came yes, in here and went to bed like nothing was going on. This whole thing with Falco has been a mess. And we've paid for it with our dearest blood. But were it not for you, we'd probably all be dead now. We owe you our lives. Seems all I do lately is keep thanking you for your help. Well, it's nothing really. I'm, I'm just glad that I was here to help. I believe now that we can finally put all these things behind us and live in peace. Well, I hope so. Are there any new updates on the town? Yes, well, as you can see, the construction continues to move along nicely. Patsy will run the inn for now, at least until we can find a proper innkeeper. And Sienna and Balfring have both decided they no longer want to live a soldier's life and wish to retire. Good as for them. As you probably already know, Balfring is a skilled blacksmith. And Sienna is becoming quite skilled in her armory craft. They both want to work together and open a shop. And who am I to stand in their way? It should be open for business soon, if you need anything. There's also one of the workers, the Argonian woman, who wants to open an alchemy shop once the construction's finished. As far as I'm concerned, she's earned it. And any town worth its weight needs an alchemy shop. Of course. If Belfring and Sienna are retiring, what about Korst and Aldan? Korst? Oh, he'll never retire. He'll die an old soldier with his boots still on. It's just what he does. But this is a good thing. 
as he's needed to help keep the guards on their toes. Alton? He'll stay on and help Korst while he continues his studies of the old Redguard ways of the Swordsingers. It's such a shame that art has been lost to the sands of time and history. Maybe he can learn enough to revive the old ways someday. When people lose connection with their heritage, they lose a part of themselves, you know. And what about you? Who, me? Well, I've decided to reach out to a few wholesalers I know and start up the old shop again right here in Helgen. So keep your eyes open for the store to open. I'm sure you'll find some things you can use. Other than that, once the construction's finished, a couple of the workers have said they'd stay on and work around town. You know, just general maintenance and so forth. But we need them, that's for sure. A couple more may even join the town guard. Well, you've done a great job with the town. But it needs a leader. No. My leading days are over. I'm ready to settle down and live a quiet, peaceful life. When we're ready, we'll most likely set up a small town council. And then we can each take turns, acting as sort of an executive officer for the week. But none of this would ever have been possible without you. This new town owes its very existence to you. Well, and to Valerius too. We mustn't forget him. Yes, Valerius too. I've decided to commemorate the town with a little something special. Oh, it's nothing elaborate, but I thought a little something in remembrance of those who have lost their lives here would be fitting. But that won't be until after the construction's finished. So keep your eyes open out by your private tower for it. And with that, my friend, it's been a long couple of days, and I'm sure you have other adventures to seek. Don't be a stranger, friend. And don't forget to stop by the shop sometime. I'm sure all the merchants will give their best prices to you once we're open for business. I'm proud, very proud, to have known you. And I cherish the privilege of calling you a friend. I hope to see you soon. Thank you so much. It's, it's been a privilege to help. My work here is done. I can continue hey, to stay I think here. We can go out in the field again sometime. That was fun. Um, yes, maybe sometime. I suppose I can stay on here for a little while, but I don't know. Maybe it's time for me to finally retire. Well, I think it's time for me to get some rest, I guess, first of all. Oh my goodness, there's that funeral pyre. to put some windows in this place. I can't see what's going on outside. Wow, the funeral pyre is still burning. Wait a minute. Is this the inn? It looks like it was finished overnight. Helgen Inn. Wow, this is so nice. Hey! Oh, hello. Is there something that you need? No, not really. And I'm just glad to see that things have uh, really started to shape up here. Look at these doors. Oh my. This is a very nice inn you've got here. Oh, 
Alright, well, I've decided to head back to Solitude, to my home. And I'll come back here in a while. Maybe a month or two and see how things are shaping up. This is amazing, though, to see how far Helgen has come. All right, Jordis. Thank you for accompanying me. I'm glad, I think you're glad to finally be out of the house. But we're here because I think the work in Helgen has been completed. It's been quite some time. Is there someone down there? I think so. It's been quite some time, but we're here to recruit or talk to someone about moving to Helgen. Let's, let's see what's going on down here, though. What's this? Is this a person? Hello? Is someone there? What? Time to end this little game. Oh no, you don't. All right, he's all yours, Jordis. Oh, not so fast. Only a fool lets there you go. Good work. This is just a lieutenant. There must be a bandit leader around here somewhere. Alright, we can't worry about that now. Let's go up here. We're headed to Froki's shack and talk to him about moving to Helgen. There he is. Froki? Hello, Froggy. I wanted to speak with you for a moment. Okay, about what? It's about Hamming and Helgen. Did you know the town has been rebuilt? I heard a little about it, but didn't believe it. I thought it was all nonsense. No, not nonsense at all. The house is still yours and Hamming's if you want it. Is that so? What is that gonna cost me? I'm not some rich person, you know. Nothing. You're free to move in there immediately. Huh. Well, I suppose the boy deserves a better home than living out here in some little shack with me. Yes. Well then, we'll collect our things and head there right away. Uh, but say, would you care to escort an old man and his grandson there? I'm not the fighter I used to be, you know. Okay, of course. Follow me. Shine be with us. We're right behind you. I'm hoping Elgin is close by. Can we, um, wait until, uh, daylight? Yes, my thing? Okay, let's go. All right, just how far is this? Oh my goodness, can... We have to be able to fast travel, there's no way. All these mountains? All right. Yes, everyone's here, good. You made it. All right, everyone, here we are. Elgin, let's see what they've done with the place. Will you look at this? I don't know where your house is, but feel free to stake a claim. What is this here? This must be the alchemy shop that the Argonian woman set up? Or well, maybe this is it. There's... Well, I don't know. Hello, Argonian woman. Helgen Wholesale. This must be, um, Marcus Janus store. Hello, 
everyone. Good afternoon. We still have Imperials out here. Will you look at this? Hello. I Sir Riz. Elmore captured many prisoners here in Skyrim. This is very bad. Really? They're still doing it? I thought we put an end to this when we killed um, whatever his name was. All right, there's the inn. Hammer and anvil. This is amazing what has been rebuilt here. Arcane Ambry. So, I have another marker. Okay, their new home must be down this way. Oh, they built homes outside of um, Helgen. Look at this. This is amazing. Everyone with me? Okay, look at you. You're so excited you're keeping up with me even at your age. Here it is. This is your home. Not so bad. If you don't mind the city folk always coming through. Well, I hope you enjoy your new home. I think the boy's mom and dad would be happy he has a new home here. Thank you again, friend. Well, this is all really the least I can do. Look at you, Jordis. Are you comfortable? It's a nice home. A very nice home. Wait a minute. Where's the little boy? Okay, maybe he went outside to play. All right, well, I will be off. Enjoy your home. I've got your back. Thank you, Jordis. Oh, was this him out here playing with some of the other children? Wow. Okay, well, that'll do it. Time to go back. To solitude and just live out a normal life and lead the adventuring to someone else.